Today is the 9th of October. Welcome to Walking the Way. My name is Ray. I want to say thank you to everyone for listening in as we continue to explore what it means to have regular rhythms of worship together. And for those joining us for the first time, let me explain that each episode follows a simple pattern of scripture, prayer, and music. So without any more preamble, let's start today's leg of Walking the Way. And we start with our opening prayer. Come now to this quiet place, to the center of calm in a busy world. Come now to your God. Come now to the God who knows your every thought and yet cares. Come now to the God who has heard your every cry and has suffered your hard hearts and yet cares. Come now to the God of energy and calm. Now to the God who walks with you and bids you rest. Come now and find the healing you need. Come and find God, for God calls you. We're going to have our first piece of music for today, and after the music we'll get into our Bible readings for today. Let's pray as we ask God to speak to us through his word today. As we open our ears, we also open our hearts, that these words of truth may fall upon the very fabric of our lives. Lord, may these ancient scriptures come alive within us, to inspire, to heal, to cleanse, to teach, to restore, and to guide our hearts and minds. Lord, come weave your words of life in us. Amen. And our Bible readings this week are taken from the God's Word translation. And we begin with Lamentations 2, 8 through 15. The Lord planned to destroy the wall of Zion's people. He marked it off with a line. He didn't take his hands away until he'd swallowed it up. He made the towers and the walls mourn. They were completely dejected. Zion's gates have sunk into the ground. The Lord destroyed and shattered the bars across its gates. Its king and influential people were scattered amongst the nations. There is no longer any instruction from Moses' teachings. Its prophets can find no visions from the Lord. The respected leaders of Zion's people sit silently on the ground. They throw dirt on their heads and put on sackcloth. 
The young women of Jerusalem bow their heads to the ground. My eyes are worn out with tears. My stomach is churning. My heart is poured out on the ground because of the destruction of my people. Little children and infants faint in the city streets. They are asking their mothers for some bread and wine as they faint like wounded people in the city streets. Their lives dwindle away in their mother's arms. What example can I give you? What parallel can I show you, people of Jerusalem? What comparison can I make that will comfort you, beloved people of Zion? Your wounds are as deep as the sea. Who can heal you? Your prophets saw misleading visions about you. They painted a good picture of you. They didn't expose your guilt in order to make things better again. They gave you false prophecies that misled you. Everyone who walks along the road shakes a fist at you. They hissed and shake their heads at Jerusalem's people. Is this the city they used to call absolutely beautiful? The joy of the whole world? 1 Corinthians 15 verses 51 through 58 I'm telling you a mystery. Not all of us will die, but we will all be changed. It will happen in an instant. In a split second at the sound of the last trumpet, Indeed, that trumpet will sound, and then the dead will come back to life. They will be changed so that they can live forever. This body that decays must be changed into a body that cannot decay. This mortal body must be changed into a body that will live forever. When this body that decays is changed into a body that cannot decay, and this mortal body is changed into a body that will live forever, then the teachings of Scripture will come true. Death is turned into victory. Death, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? Sin gives death its its sting, and God's standards give sin its power. Thank God that he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, don't let anyone move you off the foundation of your faith. Always excel in the work you do for the Lord. You know that the hard work you do for the Lord is not pointless. Matthew 12, verses 1 through 14. Then on a day of rest, a holy day, Jesus walked through the grain fields. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of the grain to eat. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing something that is not right to do on the day of rest, a holy day. Jesus asked them, Haven't you read what David did when he and his men were hungry? Haven't you read how he went into the house of God? and ate the bread of the presence? He and his men had no right to eat those loaves. Only the priests have that right. Or haven't you read in Moses' teachings that on the day of rest, a holy day, the priests in the temple do things they shouldn't on the day of rest, yet remain innocent? I can guarantee that something greater than the temple is here. If you'd known what I want mercy, not sacrifices, means, you would not have condemned innocent people. The Son of Man has authority over the day of rest, a holy day. Jesus moved on from there and went into a synagogue. A man with a paralyzed hand was there. The people asked Jesus whether it was right to heal on the day of rest, a holy day, so that they could accuse him of doing something wrong. Jesus said to them, Suppose one of you has a sheep. If it falls into a pit on the day of rest, a holy day, wouldn't you take hold of it and lift it out? Certainly, A human is more valuable than a sheep, so it is right to do good on the day of rest, a holy day. Then Jesus said to the man, Hold out your hand. The man held it out and it became normal again, as healthy as the other. The Pharisees left and plotted to kill Jesus. We're going to have our second piece of music to give us some time to think about those bits of scripture that may have just caught our attention. And after music we'll say the prayers for the day and the time of the year.
Let's pray, shall we? Heavenly Father, help us not to be anxious about anything in life, but in everything by prayer and with thanksgiving, let us come unto you and find the peace that passes all understanding. Help us not to be anxious or worried about what life has to offer us each day. Enable us to pray instead, to pray with thanksgiving. For we know that you hear our prayer, answer our prayers, and provide what we need for that day. Enable us to praise you and worship you in prayer no matter what we have to face today. Teach us to bring every concern before you and leave it there. Keep us from doubting and having what-if thoughts. Fill us with your peace and God our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord, so that we live free in him to serve you. This we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And our prayer for the time of the year. God of justice, peace and righteousness, come into our midst this morning. Breathe your breath, your spirit of prophecy, your energy, your enlivening, your imagination on us. Wake us up, open our eyes, unplug our ears that we might hear, that we might see, that we might grieve, that we might dream, that we might follow the ways of your extraordinary kingdom. Amen. And we say the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us now and forevermore. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And you've been listening to Walking the Way, the podcast based on the book This Day, a Wesleyan Way of Prayer by Lawrence Hall Stuckey and published by Abingdon Press. All the details for today's episode can be found in the show notes, including scripture passages and credits for the prayers and the music. And if you want to partner with Walking the Way, please head to www.givesendgo.com forward slash walking the way. And for more information, head to rayborrett.co.uk, where you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And don't forget, you can also listen to us on TuneIn and YouTube. My name is Ray, and so until next time, I'll be here waiting as we continue Walking the Way.